Hey everyone, this lesson is on testosterone and dietary influences on testosterone levels. So more specifically, we're going to talk about what types of diets and certain types of deficiencies can lead to a low testosterone level and what you can do to increase testosterone levels. But before we look into the different types of dietary selections, low testosterone levels have been found in the following medical conditions, including obesity, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So these medical conditions are oftentimes related to dietary influence as well. So we can see there's already connection here. And low testosterone levels have been demonstrated to be associated with certain nutrient deficiencies in dietary selection. We're going to talk about those in the next upcoming slides. So we're going to first talk about five different deficiencies that can lead to low testosterone level. One of them is zinc deficiency. So zinc is required for spermatogenesis, so production of sperm, and zinc deficiency can lead to hypogonadism, so low gonadal functioning or low functioning of testes. So where can we get zinc? Zinc can be taken in from our diets in meat and fish and legumes as well. So zinc deficiency, again, can lead to low testosterone level, can lead to hypogonadism, and we can find zinc in meat and fish and legumes. The second type of deficiency that can lead to low testosterone levels is selenium deficiency. So selenium is actually required for testosterone biosynthesis, so the production of testosterone. And we can get selenium in the following, Brazil nuts, green vegetables, and mushrooms. So selenium deficiency can cause a low testosterone level, and we can get selenium in Brazil nuts, green vegetables, and mushrooms. The next deficiency that is associated with a low testosterone level is a vitamin E deficiency. This seems to be more due to its influence with zinc, so vitamin E may help prevent zinc deficiency. So if there's a vitamin E deficiency, it could also be associated with a zinc deficiency as well. And vitamin E can be obtained from dietary sources from nuts and certain vegetable oils as well. Vitamin D deficiency is the next type of deficiency that could lead to a low testosterone level. So this comes from the article entitled Effect of Vitamin D Supplementation on Testosterone Levels in Men. So this article found that supplementing men with vitamin D can increase testosterone levels. So vitamin D can come from fish, milk that has been fortified with vitamin D, and also vitamin D supplements, and through sunlight or exposure to sunlight that can lead to the endogenous production of vitamin D. So vitamin D deficiency seems to be associated with low testosterone as vitamin D supplements can increase testosterone levels. The next deficiency that is associated with a low testosterone level is magnesium deficiency. So the reason why magnesium deficiency may lead to a low testosterone level is because magnesium is required for vitamin D activation and functioning. And as we just learned, vitamin D and vitamin D supplementation increases testosterone levels. So magnesium can come from green leafy vegetables, and legumes. So those are a couple sources where magnesium can be found. So those are the five deficiencies that can lead to or that are associated with a low testosterone level. So a zinc deficiency, a selenium deficiency, a vitamin E deficiency, a vitamin D deficiency, and magnesium deficiency. These are the five deficiencies that are associated with a low testosterone level. Now we're going to talk about specific dietary selections and the first one comes from this article entitled Hypogonadism and Erectile Dysfunction is Associated with Soy Product Consumption. So from that article, soy consumption has been linked to low testosterone levels. So soy consumption, so soybeans, soy milk, those types of foods may lead to low testosterone. The next several dietary selections that may lead to low testosterone come from this article entitled testosterone-associated dietary pattern predicts low testosterone levels and hypogonadism. So the first is breads and pastries. So breads and pastries have been linked to low testosterone levels. Another one is dairy products. So consuming milk and other types of dairy products may be linked to low testosterone levels as well. So again, very interesting, having higher intakes of breads and pastries and having higher intakes of dairy products is associated with a low testosterone level as well. And then further from the same article, eating higher levels or higher amounts of desserts is linked to low testosterone levels as well. And then there are some other interesting points noted from that article. And these include reduced consumption of green leafy vegetables. So reduced consumption of green leafy vegetables is associated with a low testosterone level. And this may be linked to some of the other deficiencies we talked about before, magnesium and those types of deficiencies. 
Another interesting point noted in that article was that individuals with low testosterone levels have reduced consumption of noodles. So for whatever reason, there was an association between reduced consumption of noodles and reduced testosterone levels. And eating out more often is associated with a low testosterone level. And this may be due to eating out having more unhealthy options. So again, eating desserts is associated with low testosterone levels, along with reduced consumption of green leafy vegetables in general, reduced consumption of noodles, and eating out more often is actually associated with low testosterone levels as well. So in summary, what we've learned in this lesson is that in order to prevent low testosterone levels, it's important to have adequate consumption of the following. Zinc, so we talked about zinc being required for spermatogenesis and zinc deficiency is known to cause hypogonadism. So zinc can be found in meat and fish and legumes. Selenium is also important to have in our diet. It's a trace element, but a selenium deficiency can lead to low testosterone levels because selenium is required for testosterone biosynthesis. And we can get selenium from things like Brazil nuts. The third is vitamin E. So vitamin E is tied to zinc. So if there's vitamin E deficiency, this can lead to a zinc deficiency. So this is the reason why we want to have adequate levels of vitamin E in our diet. And we can get this from things like vegetable oils. Vitamin D is also important as well. We saw by that article that vitamin D supplementation can increase testosterone levels. So we can get vitamin D from things like fish, fortified milk, and sunlight. The fifth is magnesium. So magnesium is important because a magnesium deficiency can lead to issues with vitamin D activation and functioning. So we can get magnesium from things like green leafy vegetables. So those are the five dietary deficiencies that can lead to low testosterone levels. And it's also important to have adequate consumption of green leafy vegetables and possibly noodles as well. Now it's important to avoid the following foods. These include soy products. So soy products have been noted to be associated with low testosterone and hypogodadism. The second is breads and pastries. So having high levels of intake of breads and pastries can lead to low testosterone levels. Dairy products as well. And desserts. And interestingly, eating out more often is associated with low testosterone level. And conversely, I didn't mention this before, but eating at home has a better predictor of having a more normal or elevated testosterone levels. So eating at home versus eating out is better for testosterone levels as well. So those are some of the dietary selections that are important for testosterone levels. So I hope you found this lesson helpful and informative. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.